Jonathan Gavoni here of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Portland, Oregon at the Nike Hoop Summit with Caleb Tarzuski going to Arizona. Caleb, how is Portland treating you so far? Uh, you know, it's been really good. Had two practices so far. Um, they went they went great. Um, really like the team. Having a good time. So, What does it mean for you to represent Team USA at an event like this? Um, you know, it's really important. Um, you know, this is only my second uh, all-star type thing. But, um, you know, repping U the USA is, uh, is really important to me. So. You guys had two practices today. What were you able to accomplish so far? Um, you know, we only have two days before the uh, the game, so um, we need to we need to gel as a team. Um, so we've uh, we've been going pretty hard uh, this afternoon. We uh, we scrimmaged, got up and down a little bit. Um, been trying to put in plays, um, do some defensive stuff because we're uh, we're really trying to win this game. What are your thoughts on uh, your role here on this team? Um, you know, I just uh, I just hope we win. Um, you know, I, I want to play well, but I mean, obviously, if we win, um, get the, get the win for USA. That's that's the most important thing. So, for people who might not be familiar with you, um, what can they expect uh, on Saturday? What kind of player are you? Um, you know, I uh, I try to stay true to myself. Um, you know, I, I don't don't want to roam around on the, the wings at all. Um, I set set screens. That's about it on the wings. But I try to stay inside, and, um, get my work done in the post. So, okay. What uh, what, what was the main reason you decided to, to go to Arizona? What what stood out about Sean Miller and, and his crew? Um, you know, I mean, I originally wanted to stay closer to home because um, being around my family that's really important to me. Um, so, um, you know, I was a little hesitant at first going going uh, to the West Coast, but um, when I met Coach Miller and, and the coaching staff and uh, and all the players that the, the players they have now and the recruits, um, you know, I just thought it'd be uh, it's almost like a family on the road. So, um, you know, it's uh, that was that was the biggest thing for me. Um, I feel really comfortable with everything there. So. What are your thoughts on the front court that you guys have that they've managed to assemble with Grant Jarrett and Brandon Ashley? It seems like a pretty strong group, huh? Yeah, it's a it's a really strong group. Um, great bunch of guys. Um, we all really good basketball players. Um, but that that's really what they're kind of missing this year. Um, so you know we're we're all going to be able to step in and hopefully uh, have an impact next year. Um, that's that's really important for all of us. So. Not being able to play at McDonald's, does this does this make this um, you know increase the sense of urgency for you to to have a good showing here? Uh, I mean, definitely. Um, you know, I'm just out here playing basketball, having fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, I I couldn't play in the um, the McDonald's game, but th that's all right. I'm out here, um, having a really good time. So. What are your thoughts on people who say that this is a weak uh, high school class? Uh, I don't think that's true at all. I think uh, I think we have some really good basketball players. So, okay, appreciate your time, Caleb. Thanks so much. Thank you. Best of luck.